Hey witches, Elizabeth here from Plant Based Bride and today I'm going to be setting up my bullet journal for October 2019 with a witchy vibes theme as voted for by my patrons. It's a little bit spooky, a little bit dark, and of course, a lot of bit witchy. So let's get into it. Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. I will talk about them more at the end, but let's get right into the cover page. I tea stained a bunch of paper because I knew I wanted it to feel very old, like this was a spell book that someone found in their attic after a hundred years. So I grabbed a bunch of different types of paper, some printer paper, some patterned paper that I had from Michaels, and I tea stained them all so I could have lots of different options. I also used some black craft paper for the black areas. The cover page has a bunch of witchy imagery, so I'm starting on this bottom left hand corner and I'm drawing a skeleton hand that's reaching out to touch the flame of a very waxy melty candle. I kind of wanted to do another skeleton hand. If you saw my October plan with me from last year, you will have seen that the cover page had a skeleton hand doing the OK symbol to make the O of October. I'll link it if you want to check that out. So I kind of wanted to bring back our good old skeleton hand in a slightly different position. And I feel like I've gotten a little bit better at drawing skeletons since then. It's a little bit more detailed. For the header of the page, I wrote out October, kind of basing each letter off of a circle and then used my stamp kit to stamp out 2019. As always, all of my supplies will be linked in the description box, so check that out if you want to get details on anything I use in this video. I wanted to add some flourishes to the corner to make it look more like an old timey book. I also wanted to draw a witch hat, a little spell book, a cauldron that's boiling over, and a bottle of poison. Thank you for sharing your recreations with me this past month. I had so much fun seeing them all. If you ever recreate any of my spreads, feel free to tag me in the photos on Instagram so that I can see them and maybe share them in a video. Once I was happy with the main drawings, I glued everything down and added some more details, mainly a bunch of stars and moons on the black and white sections of the page. Once I did that, I felt like my bottom left hand corner section was a little empty looking. So I ended up deciding to use this new wax stamp kit that I got from Amazon. So I'm using this sort of burgundy wax and then my stamp just has a very intricate E on it for Elizabeth. So I decided to add some wax all over and I liked the effect, especially adding that tiny touch of color because the spread is black and white and brown and just very neutral and the deep red kind of adds to the spookiness. I added a couple more details till I was happy and then I moved on to the quote page. So using another piece of tea stained paper, I'm ripping the top and bottom and gluing it in. And I'm adding a design along the bottom, incorporating the sun and the moon, the cycles of the moon in a circle. I feel like the sun and the moon specifically are so tied to our impression of witchiness, of witches. So I definitely wanted to incorporate a lot of moon imagery, a lot of celestial imagery throughout the setup. And then at the top, I drew hands holding a crystal ball. And of course the hands had to be mine, so they have long, pointy black nail polish on because so do I. And all that's left is to add the quote, which is, do the world a favor, don't hide your magic. 
The next page is going to be my calendar page and I had an idea to create a calendar inspired by a tarot card. So I'm cutting out a piece of black paper and then cutting the corners to round them. Then I'm using my white gel pen to add all of the details. So I'm adding a border around the outside with a banner along the bottom that will say October and adding a little bit of detail to the corners. Then within that border, I'm adding the actual calendar, which I'm making a little bit taller and narrower than usual so it can fit into this tarot card. I think I'll still have enough room for my monthly, but of course I use a notebook that's larger than the standard A5, so I do have a little bit more room to play with. Once I had created the basic calendar, it was time to add the decorations. I wanted to incorporate a cat somewhere in here because y'all know I'm a cat lady and my black cats are perfect for spooky season. So I created a mystical cat in the center. The cat kind of makes me think of Sailor Moon, which is not a bad thing. And then moons and stars and some botanical imagery and some constellations and adding a bunch of dots for stars within the border to differentiate between the outside edge of the tarot card and the actual inner sort of design of the tarot card. So flipping over to the next page, I'm going to be doing a sleep tracker on the left side and on the right side, I'm going to be doing a mood tracker and a tracker for my daily stretching. So starting off with a tea stained page on the left side, I wanted this to look like a page I'd ripped out of a spell book with a sleep spell on it. So along the bottom, I drew a bunch of different sizes and shapes of bottles with potions in them. And then I found a sleep spell on Pinterest and wrote it out using my stamp set. For anyone who's interested, and if you can't quite read it, the sleep spell is Poppy Yar and Brisbane Steep to make a potion for potent sleep. On the right side of the page, I'm doing a bunch of different drawings that I feel fit within this theme. So some crystals, a mirror that may or may not be magical, a key to some mysterious door, and an animal skull with a bunch of botanical leaves and flowers kind of growing out of it. The skull itself isn't based on any real animal, I just kind of made it up. After I glued those pages down, I added some mushrooms on the sleep spell side. I feel like mushrooms fit really well into a potion spread. I added some headers to both pages, Sleepy Witch and Moon Moods. and kept adding details all over, including the classic evil eye with a little bit of a droopy eyelid because that sleepy witch is tired. I also thought it'd be fun to add some real plants into the setup. So I found this little branch outside on my walk home and I used my wax to seal it onto the page. As I go, I'm cutting any excess paper that hangs over the edge. Now we are on to the final spread of this setup, which is my first weekly, and I'm doing a faux Dutch door rolling weekly setup. As always, I'll link my video on rolling weeklies if you wanna know how these work. In that video, I'm not doing a faux Dutch door rolling weekly, I'm just doing a standard weekly on a two page spread. But what I'm doing now is exactly the same thing. The only difference is that instead of the days being stacked vertically on one page, each day has its own half page vertically. And I use one extra page in the middle so that I have enough space for every day. I always find it kind of hard to explain this verbally, but hopefully it makes sense once I'm done this spread. So again, using my black and tea stained paper and just finding placements that I like for them. I also tea stained a faux love letter that I typed up and tea stained some of Beethoven's handwritten music and added those to the spread along with some wax to keep it sealed down. and adding a bunch of little illustrations again. So here I have some witch's brew, AKA coffee, 
some botanical illustrations, some stars, candles, moons, a feather, a ring, a snake, a Ouija board paddle thing. What are those called? Plaque, planchette. So that is the whole setup. I'll do a final flip through for you. I really love doing October themes. It's something about the colors that come with fall and that little tinge of spookiness that just makes it more fun for me, which is kind of funny because I'm such a scaredy cat and can't handle scary situations, can't handle scary movies, can't handle my husband making any sudden movements in my general vicinity. <laughs> so it's just funny that I love the vibe of spookiness in my bullet journal. And here you can see I'm folding that center page. So this weekly works that I can fold that center page one way or the other so that whatever day of the week I'm on, I can always see my weekly task list, which is on that large piece of tea stained paper on the last page. Thank you so much to my patrons for voting for this theme. I really loved doing a witchy vibes theme. If you want to join the patron squad and help decide on future themes, get printables. So this month, my patrons are getting the cover page, the quote page, the calendar page, and also a bunch of the little drawings throughout to print out and use in their bullet journal. Tap the link in the cards or the description box to join. You can join for as little as $1 a month for one printable a month, or if you join the $3 a month tier, you get every single printable, you get a monthly live stream and so much more. So check it out if you want to join. I wanna give an extra special thanks to our newest patrons, Betsy, Kelsey, Amanda, and Mais. Thank you so much for joining the squad. I can't say enough how grateful I am for your support. It really means the world to me. Now I wanna take a moment to talk to you about Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes covering pretty much every creative and entrepreneurial skill you could want to develop. Skillshare is an amazing place to continue your learning through your entire life. Premium membership gives you unlimited access and an annual subscription is less than $10 a month. Whatever it is you want to improve in your life, whether it has to do with your creativity and hobbies, or maybe your career, Skillshare is the perfect place to take your skills to the next level. Lately, I've been taking this course, a comprehensive guide to hand lettering, creating graphic and script styles by Eric Marinovich, and I'm really loving it. As you'll know, if you've been with me for a while, I've always been a little bit self-conscious about my hand lettering. It's not really something that I prioritized for a long time. So I really wanna up my skills. I really wanna do some more interesting and creative lettering going forward. And this course is helping me so much in my journey to improve my hand lettering skills. Because Skillshare is sponsoring this video, you can sign up with the link in the description and get a two month free trial to Skillshare Premium. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Thank you so much for watching this witchy vibes setup. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like this video and leave a comment down below. Any engagement on your part really helps me out in the algorithm and means YouTube will actually share my videos with my subscribers and I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye witches.